What's up guys, Retro Gaming Guy here. So it seems that the Delta emulator has found itself in a bit of a sticky situation right out of the gate. And this is actually with a company that I would have never expected there to be an issue with. It's Adobe of all people. So it seems that Adobe has threatened legal action against the Delta emulator because they are blatantly ripping off Adobe's logo. And I didn't even notice this right off the bat. And it's crazy to me because I actually have both of these on my Apple iPhone. I recently got into the Delta emulator, love what it offers, love the convenience of it, how easy it is to set up. But because it's on a different page, I didn't even notice that they blatantly did in fact rip off Adobe's logo. And I'm going to show you guys a side by side comparison between these two logos. So let's take a quick look right here. So over here on the left hand side, we have Adobe's logo in red and white. And on the right hand side, we have the Delta emulator's original logo in purple and white, and they are identical. Yes, they're stylistically slightly different. The Adobe logo is bolder, it's thicker, uh, but that's about it, the same exact shape. And yeah, literally everything about this other than the color scheme and the thickness of the shape is completely the same. So yeah, I'm, I'm absolutely shocked that it got this far and that nobody picked up on the fact that it is literally the exact same logo, just in a different color and slightly you know, less bold lines on here. So um, it seems that legal action was again threatened and Delta Emulator immediately took action to make the change and to obviously appease um, Adobe so they don't actually get their lawyers involved any further and, you know, have it advanced beyond just a simple cease and desist sort of situation. So this right here is now what Delta Emulator has for its logo. Um, I don't believe that this is going to be their final logo of choice. This is just something that they immediately did to obviously cool things down with Adobe and get away from any possible further legal action. Um, at this point, it has just basically been a cease and desist sort of situation. There's no lawsuit or anything like that. So uh, they've made the necessary changes and adjustments here, but this does not look like a very cool logo by any means. It obviously just was simply done spur of the moment to immediately uh, rectify the situation. So they basically just have uh, flipped it around, slashed it in half, and kind of tipped the top of the A over um, kind of on its side a little bit. So, um, and you can see right here under what's new, it says Adobe threatened legal action unless we changed our app icon. So we did. Hope you all like it. Uh, smiley face. And then it walks through the other uh, adjustments that were made to this version of the emulator. So if you update this, if you haven't updated it on your phone, you're probably seeing that original uh, logo populating in on there. But if you update it, you're going to see now that the Delta game emulator has made this change. So yeah, it's pretty crazy at the end of the day to, um, to you know, to see that this actually played out the way that it did. Uh, very unfortunate that they made that mistake, but at least they did take the necessary steps to move forward accordingly and, you know, avoid any sort of further legal, um, you know, ramifications for this stupid mistake, because it is a very stupid mistake to do something like this. But yeah, emulators are controversial as it is. They definitely don't need to go out and um, rub people the wrong way beyond the typical people that they like to piss off, like Nintendo and, um, you know, Sony for PlayStation and stuff like that. So yeah, good that they made this, this uh, necessary change. But let me know what you guys think in the comments of this video. Do you think it's a stupid mistake? Do you think it's good that they took action immediately and you know, obviously squashed the entire beef here with Adobe. Let me know in the comments of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the content today, please give me a thumbs up on the video. And of course, hit subscribe right here on the Retro Gaming Guy YouTube channel to stay in the loop for all future videos. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one.